just thought I'd show you what we're going to be doing with our lady today. We just focus on here. So what we're going to be doing is a breast implant with an implant in this uh, area here. But I'm going to be using a technique where we, I just use a incision around the areola. So we're going to do a nipple lift, a nipple reduction, also correct her inverted nipples and put the implant in that way so we avoid a scar down here in the normal place. So we're doing that on both sides. So this is, a, this is real advantage is we really limit the scarring just around the nipple so there's no other scarring on the breast and we get a nipple lift. And on the tummy, I'm going to be doing a standard tummy tuck. I've shown you these on lots of other videos, but a full tummy tuck, and we'll show you that in a second. So this is quite a common uh, combination, breast enhancement, minimising the um, scars and a tummy tuck procedure. So what I've done now is I've taken the top layer of skin off around the nipple, so the nipple is going to be um, stitched, I've tattooed it, 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock and 9 o'clock so I can match up the points on both areas. I'm now going to cut through here and make a pocket underneath the breast tissue for the breast uh, implant and then the final stage is just to bring that skin in to tighten up the nipple. I'll show you each stage as we do it. So what I've done is I've created a pocket now uh, just over the muscle, that's the muscle there so you can either go in front or behind of the muscle. Um, and then as I sweep my finger around, I don't know whether you can see, I've created a space for the implant to go. Um, next stage is, this is a uh, temporary inflatable implant, which I'm just going to put in. We only use this uh, for a short period of time, just really just to check um, that uh, we've got the right size. So now Aggie is going to blow that up uh, slowly. So I, my job is just to check that the implant is sitting correctly, as he's going to blow it up, so that's 50 cc's, we do it in cis cc's, 100 cc's, that's good, I'm just checking it's all sitting properly, uh, 150 cc's going in now. Now we've already talked about the size uh, of the uh, implant to our patient, um, so that's 200 isn't it Aggie? Yeah. So we just, we all count together so we actually make sure we get it right, 200, 250, uh, 250, and we're thinking maybe 360. This is now 300, isn't it? Yeah. Can you see it's filling up nicely, actually? That's looking good. 300, yeah. So we don't use any drains in this operation. That's 350, yeah, that's good, Aggie. I think that's sitting, so it needs to check it's sitting correctly yeah. at the level of the inframammary fold, which it is. That's 360, and it's going so up a little bit more. This is 360. 360. Um, the other option was 390, which is there. Yeah. Actually, well, that might look actually. quite good, actually, 390. Yeah. So I think 390 might be the way to go, because it's filling up nicely. What we're always looking out for is the cleavage. Um, so 390, I think, would be the optimum way to go. So the next thing to do is just take out this temporary implant. Uh, just slip my finger around it. Just going to clean out the pocket there and then we'll put the implant in and I'll show you the next so step. Now I've placed the uh, implant in position. Aggie, could you just hold up there gently? And can you see the implant there? This is the implant there, there which is uh, sitting very nicely. I can check it's right down to the fold. So I've taken out the temporary uh, implant and put the formal implant in. Um, and there we are. So the next stage is just to sew all this up, as I've shown in other videos, and I'll show you the appearance in the end. Yeah, you want? Yeah. So you can see now we've completed both sides, we've just got the scar around the nipple, I've corrected both inverted nipples, we've got, I think we've got good uh, breast symmetry with an elevation with minimal scarring. Um, now the stitches are all buried so we put a uh, brown micropore tape on and then we're going to put a special silicone uh, dressing on after a week or two weeks as instructed by the nursing staff, but there's really no stitches to remove which is good because they're all buried. And the next thing I'm going to do is do a standard full tummy tuck and we've done this lots of times on other videos so I'm not going to show you the whole operation today if you want to see how we do a tummy tuck uh, please have a look at some of the so other this videos. This is the final appearance of the bust with our tape on and we're going to replace that with silicone shield.